This is Jonah. He's calling Celine. She only speaks French. He only speaks English. How are they communicating? Right now we are limited. To research something, heck, even to write down this video, I have to move my fingers to input letters to spell words to formulate sentences. But what if there was a way to do that without moving? This is MindReader, a new way to type with thought. The system reads the hemodynamic responses in the brain, essentially the movement of blood inside our gray matter to distinguish hovering over a letter and selecting the letter. So just so I'm clear, so from Tyler's brain activity, you guys came up with this photo. Yes. And yes. Tyler, you recognize it? Yeah. Right, 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 right. The rate of advancement in this technological mind reading field is getting faster and faster. I think soon we'll be able to communicate with each other just by thought. Facebook. Whether or not you agree with the company, they're doing some groundbreaking research in this field. Currently over 60 scientists, engineers, and system integrators are attempting to develop a system that allows for 100 words per minute by thinking. Almost double the average rate of 40 words per minute by typing. Now Facebook says they are not looking to broadcast or read your thoughts, but rather develop something similar to voice commands. Think of it more like this. You take many photos, you choose to share some of them. You have many thoughts, you choose to share some of them. We're talking about decoding those words by sending them to the speech center of your brain. Now imagine if a system like this can successfully read a word that you're thinking, like say kangaroo. Well, the current issue is that kangaroo is an English word. What about Mandarin or German? As humans, we are divided by this thing called language. The device could read kangaroo from your thought, then instantly share an image of a kangaroo to your French friend over there, or even translate your thought into his language in real time. When we begin tapping into the brain, we cross over into mysterious and unknown territory. There are so many questions that come up. For example, 90% of my thoughts, I don't want anyone else knowing except me. If thoughts now become documented, will we be held accountable for them, even if we don't act on them? Well, let's look at the present moment for our answer. This is my search history. With this, you can essentially see inside my brain. First, I pull up some music, then I go to check my email, then I get a video game key, then I Google an issue with the video game, then I look up for a video plugin, and so on and so on. With the technology we use, most of our day-to-day -day thoughts are already documented in the form of our digital history. The key difference with our current tech and the thought reading tech is, is that the funnel that separates thought from action gets quicker. It won't be delayed by typing or tapping, but rather instantaneous from our brain to the computer. I think it will be so important to remember going forward that we are not our thoughts. It is only when we act on those thoughts that they define us. Now, let's just say for a moment we have the device now, something that doesn't require surgery. It can be removed or shut off at any time, but can successfully translate direction thoughts from our head to the computer. This would make the speed at which we can say, write a paper much faster. Open a new tab, Google a new date. These things take seconds with mouse and keyboard. With thought, they would take milliseconds. We could potentially increase our productivity to levels unheard of. Another side could be communication. When the language barrier is broken down, how much could be found in translation that was otherwise lost? This is like one of those technologies I don't know what to think of. On one side, it's amazing. On the other, it's kind of scary. So imagine being stuck in an environment where the only transfer of information happens verbally. Now all of a sudden we can draw symbols to convey ideas like the ancient Sumerians and Egyptians are first documented to. Poetry, history, lies, truths, all shared through a new medium, text. I believe we are now in a transitional period, at least the very early days of it. A transition period to the next phase, the phase of brain-to-brain -brain communication. And I don't know what to make of it, man. That's, <laughs> it's cool, it's exciting, it's 
questionable. And that is perhaps what new technology always is. I have hope though that we'll figure it out. When we installed internet access on our computer, I got the whole family involved. We always do. Thanks for watching. I've been a web developer since I was 25 years old. Hard to believe. Grandfather was a developer. Father too. Me and him was making websites at the same time. We'd pick award winning templates designed for a wide range of projects. I think he's pretty proud of that. I know I was. Some of the old time devs had to code each and every line they wanted to create. Hard to believe. But with Squarespace is all in one platform, you can claim a domain, build a site, sell online, and market a brand faster you could say Sasparilla. Plus with Squarespace's advanced editor, I can dig into the code, edit, and make it my own. They even have built in email campaigns with more than 30 starter layouts to choose from. It's never been easier. Saddle up to squarespace.com slash disrupt to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. Well dang. Got away again.